two people were detained in Beijing after using an excavator to smash a path through the Great Wall of China. Channel News Asia reports that police followed tracks made by machinery used to dig a shortcut through a segment of the wall, remains of the immense structure built by China's emperors to deter foreign invaders. The suspects admitted under questioning that they had used a digger to create a shortcut in the wall in a bid to reduce local travel time, state media reported. Local police said in a statement that the suspects are a 38-year-old man and a 55-year-old woman. State broadcaster CCTV reported that the suspects had caused irreversible damage to the section of wall that dates back to China's Ming Dynasty of the 14th through 17th centuries. That part of the wall was described as a relatively intact section of significant research value. Can you imagine the conversation that happens before you go and ruin a national international monument? Hey son, can you get me some milk from the store? Yeah, I could, but uh, do you have any excavators lying around? I was wondering if you could just like bust a hole. A woman who claimed to be in a relationship with a roller coaster has now married a different ride. The Daily Star reports that 46-year-old Gael Engel claims that the Sky Scream coaster at Holiday Park in Hasloch, Germany, has been her boyfriend for seven years. But the objectophile, someone who is attracted to inanimate objects, ended their fling claiming she wasn't allowed access to the park. But a new love interest soon caught her eye, a ride called Gravity at a theme park in Bordeaux, France. They have now tied the knot, and Engel considers herself wed to the ride. They even share a son, a model ride that Gael, who is a model maker based in Bordeaux, made, called Cybernetic. Says Engel, regarding her new love interest, I am very happy with him and we are very solid and united. A wedding ceremony in Indonesia went viral recently after it was reported that the groom had cold feet just before the event and had to be replaced by his father. The Straits Times reports that the groom from Obi Islands fled the wedding ceremony, leaving his future bride in the lurch. To spare her and her family from future embarrassment, the groom's father had to stand in during the ceremony. A video of the affair was published on Instagram and shows a man wearing a long sleeve batik shirt sitting opposite another, thought to be the father of the bride. It was also reported that the bride's family has spent some 25 million Indonesian rupiah on the wedding, or the equivalent of about 1,600 US dollars. No word on how the mother of the groom feels about this predicament or what may or may not have happened on the wedding night. If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. I mean, hey, my cat's gotta eat.